Hello, this is old Mr. Kent of MrKent.com, and this is a test flight after replacing all four props on my uh, Mini 2 because uh, in my last video I crash landed it and the left rear uh, arm sticking out from normally it sticks out well it folded up during the crash and so I didn't know you know how much damage there was but uh, whenever I <coughs> whenever I damage a prop uh, in a crash or that's only happened a couple of times uh, then you replace all of them because you don't know which which ones uh, maybe also were damaged but you can't see the damage <clears throat> so anyway so I decided I'd be sure and just fly where I can re recover my drone if it does go down or if one of the screws is loose that holds the props on and all that kind of stuff so so anyway the video uh, the last video which I'll put a link to was um, filming the guys uh, with their trucks that are trying to locate pipes and stuff I guess and uh, you can see they got a blue, a blue line there at the top uh, showing a, a water line blue is water and I think red is electricity and I don't know uh, there's maybe yellow is sewer but they they color code so that they know what uh, what it's all about so anyway so this is where they dug the hole you can see the two yellow markers <clears throat> and then there's a red ribbon of some kind maybe that's so they can follow down to get it or something I don't know but uh, anyway so I was watching that and then I'll, also I've got a story to tell um, of uh, in 1949 when the Seattle uh, had a, a bad earthquake and uh, I, yeah, I, I was at there you can see 64 injured and seven people killed which wasn't too bad I mean it's still bad but anyway so I got out you go if you go to Google uh, or Google and uh, just Google the words uh, Seattle 1949 earthquake and you can look at these pictures and or whatever <clears throat> but uh, I was when uh, when the earthquake quake occurred I was still living out in that little house uh, in the woods and I went to a school called Coalfield Elementary Coal C O A L because there was a lot of coal mines around and uh, so I went to that school and it was like a, a three room school I think they I don't know they had first grade second grade and uh, I'm pretty sure they had third grade but that doesn't matter uh, anyway it was lunchtime when this happened and uh, I was standing close to a door and they had told us if there's an earthquake then uh, be sure and uh, stand in a doorway so I felt the earthquake and there was a door just real close to me <clears throat> so uh, I walked over to it and stood in it and the thing that amazed me and I'll never forget is that um, when the earthquake was occurring and I was standing in that door and I looked out at the playground there's my sweetheart uh, she, she lets the, the horses and the donkeys out during the day so that they can go around the yard and and then I clean up the mess with a shovel but anyway <laughs> uh, that's called teamwork so anyway I was standing there and I was looking out at the at the uh, playground and it was like it was the same thing as if somebody was over to my left and I was looking at water and they were they were stirring up the water and the waves were coming out across the water <clears throat> that's what it looked like the uh, the when I was looking out that door the waves were uh, I mean the feel the field the playground looked like water when somebody stirs it it had waves moving across it uh, I mean it was amazing to see and of course everything was shaking at the same time but I never will forget looking out there and uh, I don't know how big the waves were I was a little guy then so uh, they probably weren't all that large but you could see them and it just looked like looked like somebody was stirring it up <laughs> so anyway and uh, there's Jelly Belly that's the goat and uh, she goes around and uh, eats up everything <laughs> so anyhow uh, that that's my story for this video and uh, I want to thank you for watching my videos and God bless